to my channel and today as you can probably tell by the title I'm doing another Trader Joe's grocery haul so I'm just gonna jump right on into it because I have a lot of frozen stuff out of the freezer and I don't want it to be out that long um, so I'll start with two things you guys have seen me purchase at least probably twice before the Trader Joe's nope I'm not gonna do this I'm not gonna say Trader Joe's before every product it's all Trader Joe's <laughs> Hatch chili mac and cheese and then I got, this one's for Chris, and then I got the reduced goat mac and cheese for myself. This one was really good last time, though, and he liked it, too, so. I got it again. And then I got some more of these eggplant cutlets that we both really like. If you haven't tried these, you really should. And got some more of these salmon burgers, which are also really good. Chris likes these, so... I got them again. Got some brown rice. Pretty self-explanatory there. And then I got this. This I've never tried before. Uh, carrot spirals. It just looks like carrot pasta. Just they did it for you. But thought it would be interesting to try. Pasta alternative. Three calories. And then to go with it, I got some of these turkey meatballs so I thought I could have some of this with a couple turkey meatballs with some pasta sauce to make a good meal I mean if I'm not feeling the turkey meatballs or turkey meatballs I could do some of this some of these uh, eggplant cutlets and then I got some some more grass-fed beef burgers these are really good love these and I got also something I've never tried before. Um, Kung Pao tempura cauliflower chicken. <laughs> um, never tried this. I hope I like it. It just sounded really good with like some rice and some vegetables. So keep my fingers crossed for that one. Something different. And these, I got some mini chocolate bars. These are 100 calorie. Um milk chocolate yeah I've gotten the dark chocolate before and you've seen in a previous grocery haul I'll just show you guys quick what they look like or how small they are for 100 calories whoop, you get one of these so just like that they're decent for 100 calories I think and it's just enough for at night I'm really excited about those and then, got some light string cheese. Is it just mozzarella? Yeah. Part skin mozzarella. 60 calories in one stick. These are for work. Quick, easy, handheld snack, which is what I'm looking for. And then this I'm really excited about. <laughs> um, yogurt. And it's peaches and cream. And mangoes and cream. I'm so excited. I love mangoes and anything mango flavored. And for my lunch this week, I picked up some of this pre-made reduced guilt uh, chicken salad, white meat. Mm. So I'm excited about this too. It's 100 calories in half a cup, 14 grams of protein. There's only two sugars. Um, the ingredients are what you'd pretty much expect um so i'm just gonna have this on some wheat bread for a sandwich or yeah for a sandwich for lunch and i can eat this while i'm driving so no more skipping lunch my husband's getting mad and i'm just putting everything back in that bag and then for breakfast I'm going back to Old Faithful if you came from my first YouTube channel with an old roommate you know that I used to eat bran flakes for breakfast literally every day weekday weekend for like a year and a half so I got some bran flakes <laughs> and then some almond milk because I love almond milk and the longer I drink this I'm not really a fan of regular milk anymore 
Sorry guys, the camera stopped filming because I ran out of storage on this phone. Um, but I was showing you guys the veggie chips is 100 calories per serving. Is what I think I was in the middle of saying before it cut me off. <laughs> and the last thing I got, I got for the hubby. And I'm just going to show you guys what it is because I don't want to say it out loud because it's actually sitting in the uh, other room. <laughs> and so I'm going to show you. Never tried these before. Um, it's something that he has kind of spoken to me about before, so I thought it would be kind of interesting. Um, so I'm actually gonna have him try these, and I'm not gonna tell him what it is just to see if he can guess. Um, and I will insert that at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. And I think that is it. Yes, that is it for the Trader Joe's haul part of it. Definitely stick around if you want to see what happens with this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy watching grocery haul videos. I'll be doing them at least a couple times a month. I appreciate everybody's support, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. I am now here with my lovely husband. Mm. And if you watched the first part of this video or my most recent Trader Joe's haul video, depending on where we decide to insert this, uh, you know that I bought him a little surprise at Trader Joe's and I wanted him to try it on camera. Mm. He doesn't know what it is. Nope. And I'm going to make him close his eyes and I'm going to put it in his mouth and he has to guess what it is and we're going to get his real time reaction, guys. All right. If you this is a wasabi pee, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> it's not a wasabi pee. It's you don't have to joke. close your eyes now. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready? Can you handle it? Yes. Are you scared? 90% of me no. Alright guys, get on to it. Now you can close your eyes. <laughs> Don't open. Might not be a wasabi pee or a hot ball. Fart ball. Oh, no. Where's this from? Trader Joe's? Good. No, leave your mouth closed. Almost just like the um, barbecue, like barbecue potato chips. Do you want one more? Yeah. Keep your eyes closed. I feel like it's a. Uh, is it like a sun chip? Open. Oh wow, I'm kind of spicy, uh, a little bit spicy, not that spicy. Alright, well. I feel more. like they're like, I feel like they're like, like barbecue potato chips. Open. With a little extra kick. Boom. Lost you get. Mm. Good? Yeah. Really good? Very good. I would eat these again. Good, you get a whole bag. Right. What do you think it is? Some type of chip. Wow, guys, I wasn't expecting this reaction, but he likes them. Some type of chip I'm going to go with barbecue potato chips. Like, what's what I'm going to go with? Eh. What are they? What do I feel like? I'm, this is a setup, guys. It's a setup. Run while you can. Okay, like. Barbecue. Ghost pepper. Ooh, I do like these. <laughs> the ghost pepper guys used to be the hottest pepper according to Guinness Book of World Records. And I don't believe it is anymore. There's the Carolina Reaper, I believe, passed it. And there might even be something after that, but like these are really good. Yeah. I mean, they're like, tastes like barbecue potato chips, but they're like, they've got more of a kick to it, which I like. Alright. Well, I like it very much. It was a hit. 
you know, I think it was a good idea marrying her. I think I did the right thing. I made a good move. Yeah, you did. Guys, try some of the ghost pepper. It's really not that bad. It isn't. You, you could actually, have you had one? No. Why don't you try one? I don't think you're going to think it's that bad. I want to get my own. Okay. So I can make sure there's not a lot of stuff on it. Should I get my clothes? Mm. It's not that bad. It's pretty spicy, that's all. It's not hitting me yet. So I'm like, it's waiting. like uh it's like a, on a scale from zero to ten. It's like a five. No, it's like a six. And so it's a more like an aftertaste. Mm -hmm. But I could tell that if like I ate a few more of these, it would get pretty hot. Yeah. All yours. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat some of these guys. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna go devour these and we're gonna go enjoy the rest of our Saturday. And thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, these are awesome.